of the old man. And um, we just see him up there now with the, with the uh, beer in his hand with his mates perched up at the bar. And uh, he'd be feeling pretty good about himself, I'd say, at the minute. Um, on behalf of Dad, my brother Stephen, and my sister Donna and our families, we'd like to say how proud we are of, of, his, achievement, of his achievements. And for him to be inducted into the Hall of Fame of the North Football Club would mean a uh, great deal to him and he'd be great. Yeah, I'm sure that he would have loved to have been here tonight, present, to personally um, receive this award and thank all the, the family of the North Melbourne Footy Club. He often talked about his times at North during the 50s and, and he bragged about how good he was. He used to say he was the skittiest uh, league footballer ever played. He said he was 10 stone, which is equivalent to 64 kilos these days. So I reckon he would have got pushed around a fair bit these days. But Apparently he had a massive leap on him and he, he took a big grab and uh, he'd love to kick a goal. He, he, he would say to me, he used to just tell me, teammates, just kick the ball up in the air and I'll do the rest for you boys. And, um, and uh, yeah, he had the biggest hand you would ever see. He um, matched Stewie Lowe's hands. Well, they were on the back of the age one day, Dad and Stewie Lowe, so his hands were massive, so any wonder he could take a grab. And I've actually got a handprint of his um, hand at home in the concrete and, when people come around home, they put their hands in there and they're just, they're just amazed at the size of it. And if you ever wanted to really meet my dad, my brother, he's here tonight, Stephen, he's the exact clone of dad, so he's got massive hands and the same mannerisms and everything. So. Um, after dad left North, he went to Kensington for, for a while and uh, he said that was, a, he played in the Sunday League there and he said that was the toughest league he's ever played football anyway, he's got knocked out about seven or eight times or something. They used to smash him. Um, after his North days and, and Kensington days, he uh, took up an offer to come to Shepparton to play with, uh, come along with John Brady, next North Melbourne footballer here, to play at Shepparton United Footy Club and he said he's only going to be there for the one year but he ended up staying there for the rest of his life. So he brought the whole family around and uh, he, ne he never left uh, Shepparton again. In December 2002, Dad was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. And that was at Christmas time, and four months later, he passed away in April. And um, he spent those last three months with his daughter, Donna, and Michael, who are here tonight. And that's, that's where he, uh, he loved being there with, him, with his daughter at that time. Uh, I'm sure Dad would like to thank a few people. Firstly, his um, number one supporter would be our mother and his wife. Karen, uh, behind every great man is a great woman, and Mum was certainly that. She just did everything for the old man, and uh, she would love, she loved that, and she would have been very proud of him tonight. But uh, tragically, we lost our mother in a car accident in 1999, and that was a very tough time for all the family. And I'm sure he would have always also loved to thank his own parents, Tom and Mary, who, who just for his upbringing. And, uh, I just lived around the corner in Erskine Street in North Melbourne <clears throat> and he was known as the golden child in that house at the time. Um, his grandkids, he loved all his grandkids who are all here tonight. Um, my son Jamie and daughter Carly are here and, and um, his sister's triplets are here. My sister had triplets, they were all three months prim at the time but they've all come through pretty well and they're 15 years old, old now and they're all beautiful kids. And, Dad was very proud of, it, very proud of his uh, grandkids and, and uh, the kids brand him with the title of, as Grumpy Pa because he was a bit of a grumpy on there. Um, he also couldn't forget the, his ex-teammates I'm sure who he played with. Um, he often talked about how tough the uh, back line was back in the 50s led by um, Pat Kelly, Ted Gerard, Dodger Ryan and all those blokes. And he said they were just mean and mad, and they were, he's reckoned they just punch the living soul case at everyone all the time. So. Um, finally, to all the inductees tonight, the Hall of Famers, and all the other award winners as well, congratulations, and good luck to Brad and the boys for the coming season. Hope, hopefully, go uh, a lot more deeper in the finals this year, and um, hopefully, beat Combat for round one, please. <laughs>